In Ecuador, President Daniel Noboa will face impeachment proceedings after authorizing the invasion of the Mexican embassy. In Haiti, leaders announced an agreement to form a transitional government amid renewed criminal groups' violence. Palestinian resistance continues to study the proposals reached in Cairo, but warned that Israel's position does not contribute to a fair solution. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Luis Alberto Matos from the Lesus Studios in Havana, Cuba. We begin with the news. The multiple crises unleashed by the president of Ecuador, Daniel Noboa, after authorizing the invasion of the Mexican embassy and the kidnapping of the former vice president, Jorge Glass, opens doors through an impeachment trial against him. This was stated by economist Andres Arauz in an exclusive interview in which he explained that the Citizens' Revolution, the political organization that he leads in addition to officially becoming the opposition, will push for a political trial against the head of state and several of his ministers. The decision of the Ecuadorian president has opened the doors to a political, institutional and international crisis unprecedented in the history of the country, which will be discussed on Tuesday in several regional instances. We have enough strength to raise that challenge, to postpone the cause, to motivate the constitutional court to analyze it, but it also depends on the international institutions and how they are evaluating the moment we are living, obviously. We would prefer democratic stability, but it was that democratic stability that was broken by Daniel Noboa to have such a flagrant violation of international law and to respect the minimum rules of coexistence between states. Do not think that it is easy to be in a country exercising opposition against an actor that does not even care about the generalized repudiation at international level, invading an embassy, if he is capable of doing that. Imagine what he is capable of doing against a democratic, peaceful opposition that does not have that kind of resources. In an exclusive interview for a multi-platform, the former presidential candidate and representative of the Citizens' Revolution Movement affirmed that the party would declare its opposition to the government of Daniel Noboa. Secondly, on the more political issue, we declare ourselves to be in frontal opposition. In the next few hours we will be registering as an opposition party, in accordance with the Code of Democracy, which is the Ecuadorian electoral law. And that means another level of relations with the government. We are going to present, as Elena mentioned, political trials against the Cancellor, against the Minister of Government, who by the way, also has Mexican nationality. And we are going to analyze the option of presenting the political trial against Daniel Noboa, which president, we have analyzed, we believe that, the behavior of kidnapping Jorge Glass from the Mexican embassy, which is Mexican jurisdiction, could be considered kidnapping, and therefore be a cause for the dismissal of Daniel Noboa. The president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, stated that the genocide committed by the Israeli occupation in Gaza has made evident the lack of legitimacy of the International Court of Justice. Appealing to reason and the human condition, Maduro asked for mulling over what the International Court of Justice has done since the brave government of South Africa went to, the in to that instance with the hope of stopping the massacre of thousands of innocent Gazans, almost all of them women and children. The investigation of humanitarian organizations proved the Bolivarian president is correct. After the ruling of the International Court, Israel slaughtered with more power and more cruelty, even using hunger to murder. Those courts, those instances are co-opted by the imperial Western power. Let's see the case of the genocide, Patricia. It is not a war, it's a genocide happening against the Palestinian people, the genocide transmitted live and direct by social media. The genocide is present, every day Israeli troops kill children, women, with high accurate missiles. Every day they destroy hospitals, they demolish churches, they chatter mosques, every day they massacre, they have wrecked 80% of houses, apartments and buildings and the infrastructure of all of Palestine, of the entire Gaza Strip. Then, what has the International Court of Justice done? Tell me, let's touch our hearts as Christians, as people of faith, as people of law, what have they done? Nothing, turn to one side, why? Because each one of those magistrates are appointed by the lobby of the Western Empire, the United States and Europe, that is a great truth and I have to tell it, I cannot silence it, I cannot keep quiet about that truth. 
The head of state added in not only Venezuela that questions the legality of the International Court of Justice, many countries worldwide do not recognize the binding nature of that instance. We are one of the over 90 countries, including Guyana and our sister nation Brazil. We, those over 90 countries, don't recognize the binding nature of the International Court of Justice. We ought to clarify that those aforementioned states must write, publicly, openly, communicatively, accept the jurisdiction of the International Court in a certain affair, in case a nation took them to the ICJ as it were willing to file a lawsuit, or solve the case by means of that court. Venezuela is part of those over 90 countries that do not recognize the binding nature of the ICJ, as I have already explained on many times. Meanwhile, President Maduro granted that uh, the government of Guyana has no choice but to hold talks with Venezuela to initiate peace negotiations on the territorial dispute. Sooner rather than later, Guyana will have to negotiate with Venezuela within the framework of the Geneva Agreement. Going to the International Court of Justice has been a lying illusion. False has been an erratic step by Guyana, pushed by ExxonMobil, by the U.S. Southern Command, by the U.S. Empire, and the only thing left for Guyana is to come quietly and sit down in front of the President of Venezuela and start peace negotiations to resolve this controversy through dialogue. President Nicolás Maduro described the kidnapping of former Vice President of Ecuador, Jorge Glass, as a barbaric act by the government of Daniel Novoa. On the one hand in Ecuador, a man having an oligarchy last name, Novoa a well-known last name of billionaires who have been plundering Ecuador for centuries. Novoa, a spoiled child coming from a golden cradle. Thus, he thinks he is running his companies, his farms, and his estates in a brutal way as his family name used to doing. I insist on the Noboa are from the extreme right wing, which backs the extreme right wing of Venezuela. He is the first sycophant coming out, who's always ready for supporting the extreme right wing of Machado, Lopez. Noboa is the first toady who committed an act of barbarism, abducting a political asylum seeker, brutally assaulting the Mexican embassy. We had never seen such incident before. Let me tell you Patricia, we haven't witnessed such an act, not even with the dictatorship of Pinochet, which was brutal, criminal, murderous, nor with the dictatorship of Videla, which was brutal. Also, the president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, confirmed that he will meet with his Colombian counterpart Gustavo Petro in Caracas, the Bolivarian capital, on Tuesday. The official visit is the sixth meeting between the two presidents after political and diplomatic relations were re-established in August 2022. The, most, the host head of state explained that the working agenda includes issues related to diplomatic cooperation, the attack on the Mexican embassy in Ecuador, the situation in Palestine, among others. He also emphasized that joint agreements will be deepening among which energy, gas, border security, oil and commercial and economic issues stand out. In other news, on Tuesday, social movements mobilized in Colombia in support of the social reforms implemented by the government of Gustavo Petro. Rallies will be held in Bogota, Medellin and Barranquilla. They will start in the emblematic squares and parks of each locality. In the sense, trade unions such as the United Workers Central and the Colombian Federation of Educators have expressed their support to the initiative of the executive in Congress. The national call represents the support of the Colombian people to the administration of President Gustavo Petro, as well as the opportunity to remember the victims of the armed conflict of 1948 and to defend labor and social rights. The president of Argentina, Javier Milei, cited a false account on prices to prove his economic successes. Those responsible for the data acknowledged that everything published was fabricated. The president held together with journalist Alejandro Fantino a drop in prices, using as reference a user of the social media X that did not really analyze the economic situation of the country. 
When referenced by the president, the user clarified that his account, in reality, is a social experiment and explained that he never studied prices, nor was there any bot that followed the products. Although he emphasized that the publication served to see the need that many people have to show results that re re reality denies them. The inflation rate is going to collapse because that is what is happening and I am going to go ahead, you saw when the exchange rate was at $1,350 and fell to $1,000, EAT is a leading indicator. Let's take a short break but remember you can join us on TikTok at Telesur English where you will find news in different formats, news updates and much more. Other stories coming up, stay with us. Welcome back. The National Superintendent of Customs and Tax Administration denies the President of Peru, Dina Boluarte, in the midst of the investigation for alleged illicit enrichment in the Rolex case. A week before the President, Dina Boluarte denied owning Rolex watches and luxury jewelry. The Sunat sent two documents to the National Prosecutor, Juan Carlos Villena, saying that in the last three years, the President did not import any merchandise into national territory. He emphasized that between July 1, 2021 and March 17, 2024, there are no customs declarations of merchandise in the name of the person consulted, highlighted that if the head of state entered with a product purchase abroad, she did not make it visible. I think it's really serious. Kaina. And I want to clearly disassociate myself from all the people who say that the Rolex is a smokescreen or that it is not important or that we should not talk about the Rolex. The Rolex is very important because a Rolex is the equivalent of $20,000 and giving a Rolex to a public official is the equivalent of giving a briefcase of bills to that public official because of the value of that Rolex in the market. In Haiti, amid renewed criminal groups' violence after a 72-hour pause, Haitian leaders announced an agreement to form a transitional government. The nine members have until February 7, 2026, to accomplish a series of tasks. The first will be to replace the current Prime Minister, Eddie Henry, to a point with the successor, a governing council that will lead the country to democratic, free and credible elections. None of the members of this newly formed council will be able to run in these elections, which will be the first in the Caribbean country since 2016. On Sunday, the Caribbean community, CARICOM, gave its approval to the political agreement and its decree. The Palestinian resistance assured on Tuesday that they continue to study the proposals reached in Egypt by warned that Israel's position does not contribute to a fair solution. Hamas has thanked the parties for facilitating the dialogues. However, it assures that Israel's stubborn stance hinders significant progress. They are currently analyzing the latest document produced in Cairo. The organization has requested as part of these negotiations a permanent ceasefire in Gaza that Palestinians be allowed to return to their homes in the north of the Strip and the Zionist troops withdraw completely, in addition to the exchange of detainees and abductees and the delivery of sufficient food aid. In Palestine also, the Civil Defense Service recorded 409 corpses inside the Al Shifa Hospital after Israel withdrew from the medical complex and its surroundings. On a statement, the Gazan Civil Defense informed that they continue with the debris removal works alongside the governmental entities and international institutions. At once, they urged the international community and the senior authorities to support with the supply of equipment and machinery for digging works in order to speed up the extraction of corpses on the infrastructures smashed up after the bombings. Meanwhile, Palestinian citizens denounced the kidnapping of children by the Israeli troops after their withdrawal, in addition to the death toll triggered by the military operation. The government of Turkey imposed restrictions on exports to Israel until a ceasefire is consolidated in the Gaza Strip. 
According to government authorities, the decision covers groups of products such as steel, fertilizers, jet fuel, among others. The measure came into force on Tuesday and will remain in force until Israel declares an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and allows sufficient and uninterrupted humanitarian aid to the Strip. This is the first significant measure by Ankara against Israel after seven months of its genocidal operation against the Palestinian civilian population, a decision that, according to the Israeli regime, will not go unchallenged. Volunteers prepare traditional pastries called Ka'ak in Rafa in southern Gaza ahead of Eid al-Fatir, celebrations which can come at the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. The three-day festival celebrates the completion of the fasting month of Ramadan by Muslims across the world. As a new moon was not sighted on Monday evening, after Maghrib prayers, Muslims in Saudi Arabia and neighboring countries will fast one more day, completing 30 days of Ramadan. The first day of Eid will be then celebrated on Wednesday, April 10th. The first day of Eid al-Fatir is determined by the sighting of the crescent moon, marking the start of the month of Shawwal, the 10th month of the Islamic calendar. We managed to launch this project out of nothing. Access to resources is very difficult, but with our efforts and initiators, we try to obtain the food stuff and much as possible. We have a short, final short break coming up, but before we invite you to join our WhatsApp community for our English speaking audience, you can scan the QR code on screen to join directly and share the link to reach more people. Constant news coverage of Latin American and Caribbean as well as the rest of the world. Stay connected and informed with Telesur. Fun short break, don't go away. Welcome back. On Thursday, Chinese President Xi Jinping held a meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Beijing. The head of the Russian diplomacy on an official visit since Monday assured that the Russian-Chinese relations of comprehensive partnership and strategic cooperation have reached an unprecedented level. The message could be seen as a resounding response to the threats of the United States, which intends to regulate the relations between Moscow and Beijing. In the same line, in a previous meeting with the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, both diplomats ratified that any discussion on Ukraine that excludes Russia lacks perspective. On Tuesday, Ukraine attacked the reactor at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, once again violating the principles of nuclear safety. Zaporozhye is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe, and since the beginning of the special operation, which in recent weeks has turned into a war, it has been the, re the center of several Ukrainian strikes. The power plant administration reported that, the, that a Ukrainian drone hit the roof of a building with a unique training center of the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. The attack left no injuries, but constitutes a further violation of the principles of nuclear safety and the principles of the plans on safety established by the UN Security Council. In France, the Interior Minister stated that security will be considerably reinforced at Wednesday's Champions League match in the French capital between Paris and Germain and Barcelona after a threat from the Islamic State group. In response to the threat, authorities in several cities where the first leg matches of the Champions League will be played announced that they will reinforce security at the venues. live to Caracas, the Attorney General is providing statements. Let's listen. And the statements were ongoing, were going that 
The public ministry, as you know, has a competency that to, in the middle of investigations to achieve relations. The, the known um, anticipated proceedings Sobre esta o, trama que fue de las más brutales, so about the, uh, this issue that, which was brutally in the latest times la against uh, the corruption of oil. And I must, de la as an attorney general of the republic, under the principle, uh, under the constitutional principle, I would like to thank the President of the Republic, the Head of State, Nicolás Maduro, his support, his unconditional support for the advances of the public ministry of Venezuela that has been uh, uh, undergoing uh, these investigations and uh, supports uh, the national security. These are issues uh, that for its importance, they have to, to be a, a associated, related to this great component that implies to keep a, a democratic stability in, demo, in Venezuela. If we crack down, um, if we crack down a corruption, the peace will grow and stability will grow. In that sense, we have to recognize uh, the great work of our president, Nicolás Maduro, after this advance, these important advances. And I want to uh, note that in these lately hours, at least five witnesses have been Sequencialmente sequenced, entrevistados interviewed, has, have fiscal, been interviewed by our attorneys los órganos general and the bodies of uh, ju justice we have achieved to reveal the direct participation and consequent arrest of the following individuals. Tarek Kaletsap, ex-former minister of oil and a former uh, president of PDVSA, and he has to, ta uh, to be on trial, San Marcos José López, entrepreneur, Cuya vinculación who was uh, es involved de dinero, de in the um, embezzlement and, and Alejandro Serpa, and former Minister of Economy and Finances, and uh, he was related to Ciudadanos, ambos uh, both uh, y, to si the aforementioned uh, individuals. If you allow me to explain this, uh, we will show, show some further evidence. As we want to inform you, we, at the same time, we want to show what I am going to tell you, the evidence of these Arrests. Let's uh, see on the screen. I'm going to show you the review, the, the detention of Al Sad. For those who, well, there you see, you, there you see the pictures. Three pictures, three pictures that we are going to show right now en donde in, we, in which este sujeto this uh, subject this individual justicia, is at the hands of justice e to be uh, por processed and uh, to be charged with um, for the Ahora, several crimes with, by the ministry, uh, by the public ministry. So it is important to mention some details, muy very significant details. Uh, let's recall that this uh, case had its uh, progressive development 
just a, a year ago uh, in March uh, 2023. In that moment, it was achieved to uh, dismantle a, a network of officials Many of them were presidents of uh, several organizations, and after they were arrested, they uh, stated how they used their poses to uh, corruption activities. Uh, so they, this, is ha this has to do with this uh, individual. Uh, so he... He was involved in, uh, he, he didn't comply with the regulations of contracting uh, oil uh, of Venezuela. So I have the responsibility, as we are, um, as we, I, I would like to express the motive of the, the way how these individuals get united to uh, do this activity, to, the, to, do, to do this conspiracy action uh, of economy against uh, Venezuela. So not only the currency, the Venezuelan currency, but to uh, skyrocket as it did in the first time the uh, US, US dollar. Let's, uh, let's remember what uh, the Venezuelan people has to had, had to suffer due to these criminals. So I defined, I defined them in this way. They were step by step creating this uh, kind of corruption. One of the most difficult ones, uh, one, of, one of the most complex ones, because these people used the cutting-edge uh, financial system, which are uh, digital currencies. You know how difficult it is, uh, this kind of technology, but uh, at some time passed by, so we will be we will be providing more details. But one of the most uh, criminal uh, stages was the the use of digital uh, technology to cover the crime, not to be uh, caught. So uh, these are gangs that were uh, that belong to the PV PVVSA, and they were related to uh, entrepreneurs uh, of working in banks and uh, with foreign uh, entrepreneurs in Miami, Washington. I want to highlight the following. You are being unfolded about these uh, crimes. But for those who do not who do not believe, I tell you, I tell you, where is uh, for those guys who who didn't believe it? Where where are these individuals and um, where where are the evidence? So. Uh, all of you now, what do you believe? So you have to be uh, quiet because you have to be you you have to keep quiet because Venezuelan justice acts in a serious and responsible way with a convict with uh, proofs. So the the use of of digital technology, of digital financial technology, or to uh, reveal, to cover, to uh, render that accountability. So it is, it is very significant the the relationship with uh, the Miami uh, uh, mafia. So sh there are evidence in the uh, that the U.S. Uh, was aware of these crimes. 
So why do they know what what would be the connection with the U.S.? What for? La detención que algunos se imaginaban no iba how, a ocurrir. How at the moment of the arrest y ocurrió, obviamente, that some people didn't judicial, believe it, uh, this arrest would happen. Horas, but caso, how, si no los how do you process a, a case if you don't Eso have the, the decisive lo elements? No me so, cabe la menor duda. Que estas personas estaban vinculadas uh, so de forma we, directa we had, uh, a the relations and, and I am Miami, I am convinced uh, that these individuals were related to the US to uh, were uh, involved with the US to destroy the Venezuelan economy cielo, so to to let the Venezuelan economy destruido, le, um, destroyed collapsed uh, pues no lo but they didn't uh, accomplish so, and the punishment uh, has to be very strong. En esta fase ya so in this second uh, phase of development, fase, uh, there could be a, a, a fair one. Pudiera. There could be a more Hemos detentions. We have dismantled the architecture of corruption with researches, with conclusive researches that revealed in a triangle way how the financial, the, the, the economy, uh, the pol political, uh, this, uh, well, we unite all data uh, to reveal the, these individuals' crimes, uh, we, so, we see here uh, this, uh, this criminal, uh, Samuel Lopez, at this moment, uh, this moment he he's cr crying, the crime, the damage they, they did to our country. We, we cannot forget uh, that he... Uh, Le abren un juicio en he was uh, lo casi related como to que money a la par de Pablo embezzlement. So uh, we compare this él, guy uh, 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 like uh, Pablo Escobar and suddenly he won the trial the some, es uh, some states were Señor, returned explique. to him. How do you explain si that? How, how corrupto, if Samuel you were uh, repente, pointed as being a very corrupted, causa, suddenly out of the blue in the United States, uh, all your crimes were deleted. Causa fue that that cause uh, that cause of that he had was causa, on the oblivion. And all his states were returned to him. He couldn't explain that. And likewise, this uh, individual, Simon Serpa, who was related to um, financial uh, mafia, and so the Ministry of Finances have been Que hasta decir uh, well, que no. bueno. he has Ahí been uh, arrested too. Quiero destacar so I want to uh, underscore en el tema de la trama brutal que to la uh, Esta red deal un with the, de ciudades mercantiles para well, el this que network de used to por medio de adquisición de criptoactivos allá used to some uh, cryptocurrencies monetización digital. And well, as I mentioned, uh, the, they use the scheme no of, of digital currency, tener, and so they managed to obtain uh, assets and investments in the building Repito, sector. So this fraudulent uh, management involved uh, three, three key institutions of Venezuela. Petróleo de Venezuela, Venezuela, the superintendency la of cryptoactive, and, uh, the, and another one. So, 
uh, Antonio Perez Suarez was involved in that crime. Ramirez Camacho, Ramirez Camacho superintendent and uh, right hand of Malzheimer and um, culprit, culprit of all these atrocities. The uh, Ulber Roa was also involved, a uh, legislator of the National Assembly. There have been accused 54 people. All of, all, all of them were have been arrested. So in the first uh, stages, there is still open uh, inquiries. And so there are some journalists who have been asking about the subject. But, and we, uh, we can uh, still uh, arrest some other individuals. There have been uh, 17 uh, warrant or orders. Warden arrest, uh, arrest order. And uh, so consequently, the second phase um, in the middle of an investigation of a systematic uh, investigation, uh, apart from these 54 uh, arrested people, I am going to the chase of these detentions. Five, five of the arrested have And so they have been uh, witnesses, they have been uh, golden witnesses to uh, reach this, uh, this impacted uh, international uh, breaking news. One of the witnesses, one of the protected witnesses, que se hizo empresario that has turned that has turned into an entrepreneur was friend of the uh, Jesus Mendes so he was invo involved with Uber Roa and Maldonado that this witness explained that Maldonado Roa and Mendes received the payment in cash to guarantee the access to business with a PDVSA company. So to the companies Supuestamente candidato a la gobernación. So, and he was willing to be a candidate. And in the case of Maldonado, was to the payment of a special. So, and he referred to the description of the economic bubble. So, this first protected witness. Según explicó, uh, explained de esta estructura delictiva that this uh, uh, delinquent uh, uh, structure received the, uh, uh, de dinero, the budget of the per, of purchasing oil that uh, turned cryptocurrencies in in other uh, foreign, foreign currencies. So uh, this action may, may made, uh, didn't notice uh, this, uh, this crime. So they evaded all, all financing structure and so it brought about uh, instability in the economy and causing uh, damages to the state. So as I explained before the, in the, at this press conference, so the, the goals of these criminals were to finish, to end, to collapse the economy of the country. We, regardless of the damage that uh, 
that Venezuela suffers because of the 900 sanctions of the U.S. So, uh, is that is the welfare of Venezuela? Tienen las 930 medidas coercitivas unilaterales so, que se convierten en violaciones masivas a los derechos humanos and, uh, en contra de nuestra población. We have to recall that we have been uh, uh, under the 930 US Entonces, sanctions plan. that lado, affects uh, the welfare and the economy of Venezuela. Medidas coercitivas unilaterales impuestas por el gobierno de los Estados Unidos so, de América. So these U.S. sanctions against Venezuelans and these de estos criminales uh, criminals corruption actions en pedazos, have been affecting Venezuela in a harsh way as, uh, si sumamos y unimos as, we, as, as if we were receiving uh, atomic bombs Pero in our economy. But these uh, criminals Pero have been arrested. A, a so I want to see que, uh, uh, boss. which is the next, the next plan of, of these uh, criminals. Tendrá que matar un perro el Aizami para que el fiscal general lo lleve detenido. So, uh, what esa, happened with the Aizami? Does he have to, to kill the dog for, for his next plan? Or o modo, it's a just a metaphor. Que más le quepan porque hicieron mucho daño ustedes. So, you a veces criminals yo pienso, capaz did... Que estaba unido a ese, uh, a ese grupo. Damage a lot our de economy. De bots que por cualquier noticia so que millions hubiese, of voices. Venezuela se ganó la medalla de oro en los Juegos Centroamericanos. Uh, ¿Y dónde está la Isami? So, uh, millions of, eh, of voices heard that Venezuela, uh, Venezuela won the uh, sports uh, championship. Monedas X. Como que so uh, we, we've que got a lot of accomplishments, accomplishments este but it seems that this Alzheimer and, the, and his que nunca iba a ser uh, criminals uh, uh, que las estaban uh, didn't think about justo. being uh, detained no. at, at some time. Pero yo tengo ahora que decir la so they, we ha ha I have to, to tell the truth. Estos cinco the, testigos these five witnesses sufrieron amenazas a su integridad física. Have been uh, suffering menaces como to presos. their estando presos, physical integrity without uh, but otro sujeto encarcelado los amenazaba. Since other con matarlo, inmates uh, uh, threatened uh, them to kill them. Potenciales, vamos a decir así, cooperadores con la justicia so, venezolana. Uh, Por eso they es can cooperate with the, the Venezuelan justice. Un so, de los I cinco, want to uh, mention a another information of a se, the second witness. Otro another protected uh, witness that have known Jocelyn Ramirez de varios despachos vinculados to, a el Aizami. So, uh, Contratos todos he talked about the several uh, meetings with and uh, se inicia una the en la cual siempre contracts a esta persona la contrataban de palabra so this person was hired with by word to remodel uh, offices and, and houses without any signed contract and just with a cash payment. So they refer to a commission of 15% equivalent to over a million dollars. So he said uh, this was at, at the hands of Ramirez and Alzheimer. So in multiple offices and, and houses, homes, Le daban contrato a estas personas y después que so se o sea, el dinero que le entregaban se they gave uh, some uh, deals with these people but they immediately removed them that money y aquí vale 
So it is worth mentioning uh, the uh, mean uh, attitude of Alzheimer's. So this Alzheimer had a, a network. I call I call this uh, network as the doll of mafia. Uh, similar to the Latin American gangs, so they 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 had uh, prepaid uh, dolls of mafia to boost to foster the uh, in a systematic way this kind of crime. Beside, uh, well, this was against the democracy of the Venezuelan state. So they they were willing to keep a network of young people and foreign people, uh, a network of, of, of gangs. You know who is who, who is uh, the the this uh, missing Rafael the, the missing and wanted Rafael Ramirez. So he he's pending to be arrested. Uh, Ramirez wrote. Ramirez requested. Uh, this witness uh, uh, said that Ramirez requested to get to get them a house for a prepayment. So it's very disgusting of this criminal. So uh, he received five million dollars in, in cash. So. I wanted to mention the the network of uh, prostitution uh, prepayment. Uh, so many of these women are arrested, and some of them are still uh, in, in search. So. La tristemente célebre Ellie James. Ellie James es one of, su es of the women of the women. Elizabeth Jemen. It's his, its actual name. It's her actual name. Le avisaron el aviso. So she she she's likely to uh, she received a call that she was going to be uh, arrested, and now she is in the United States. So in another time, Ramirez, uh, uh, who is a very dangerous man, asked to uh, borrow a penthouse because he had just a, he was just a father, and, uh, and so he wanted that house as a commission for the assigned uh, contracts, deals. And uh, Ramirez's teacher was Alzheimer. So he started, started to uh, be in charge of the uh, So he, he was ordered to assign uh, uh, um, so the papel. The assignments of these uh, of these uh, um, contracts.
A esta empresa le fueron asignados 15 buques. So this uh, company de uh, received de over 15 ships. Pagado 22 millones en efectivo directamente a Antonio Pérez Suárez. And so they, uh, Antonio Pérez Suárez. Explica que Pérez Suárez uh, received 20, 20, 22 million dollars for these. Uh, Uh, ships and investments, and so then he sent those ships to uh, another one who, who received the commission for, for this uh, business. La cantidad de dos millones de dólares en el So he had to pay the two million dollars in, in cash. So then he aff affirmed that the own Alzheimer. Well, in another time, he had to. Y tuvo que darle 450 mil para gastos personales. Cuenta también. Well, he, he also, uh, the witness tells that Jose Luis Ramirez received to the uh, account of the Shell Company, uh, 35 million uh, dollars, which was transferred to cryptocurrency and which was delivered to two confident uh, people, two, uh, two, two persons who Ramirez trust. So it was a really complex uh, Vamos a decir así, uh, structure de de elementos de convicción and uh, we have uh, lots of uh, uh, convincing uh, elements that uh, checks out the, uh, que Roa, por su parte, the involvement of all these criminals. So para las agilizaciones que él le haría y que este comentó Haber cobrado en comisiones unos cinco millones de dólares. He commented to, uh, to be paid in commissioned, in commissions, uh, peligrosos de esta trama millions de of dollars. Punto. También narró este testigo protegido. So this witness Ramírez, also Roa, told that al extranjero maletas con efectivo y oro. They used to send uh, este suitcases with uh, cash and gold. And uh, so he explained that due to sanctions and blockade, they assigned in a direct way the ships to mobilize in a way that uh, they didn't uh, get, they didn't leave any uh, trace, any traces. So they handle this, uh, they handle money uh, in their way, and in this way they controlled the uh, foreign uh, currencies in the international market. And so these are some elements, uh, some convincing elements, the root, the uproot of this uh, uh, aimed at generating chaos, extreme extreme poverty and vi um, and street violence so the the sum of the 930 uh, us sanctions uh, parallel parallel at this plant so they had us as their goals to destroy the venezuelan nation they didn't accomplish so and they won't uh, achieve it as we have said it, this public ministry acts to um, to uh, to make justice to and to uh, crack down corruption in a automatic automatic in an immediate way to attack to to fight off these kinds of crimes. 
acto de terrorismo. Este es un terrorismo uh, This is an, an economic, an economic uh, terrorism. terrorismo de grupos armados. It is the, the terrorism of armed groups. Un gobierno legítimamente constituido. And por Nicolás Maduro. So this También is a way of tagging a legitimized the government de forma uh, led by uh, President Maduro. Maduro. Todos han sido all develados, detenidos uno a uno, porque aquí hemos ido explicando todas las tramas. Este año, all these crimes have, have been unfolded, and we have been explaining all, all these acts of terrorism. Uh, so, which are related to uh, terrorism and conspiracy, conspiracy against uh, the, the homeland. So, I want to note that this witness explained uh, these criminals uh, get to, to, be ri uh, to be rivals and they control the intermediaries and, and they, uh, they were uh, paid uh, commissions and so they invested in uh, cryptocurrencies uh, states. Another fact of this Crimes. De los cinco testigos, un tercero. Uh, well, uh, este there was another witness, informa, another protected witness. He informed that los So he informed that. Uh, some involvement in the PDVS so that they wanted to deviate the resources at the Venezuelan, uh, at the Venezuelan uh, economy. So they las asignaciones para la venta the, assign the assignments for the sale of the of oil of Venezuelan oil was was made by Suarez Pérez Suarez in hidden hidden meetings in which uh, he uh, he purchased the oil in a diminishing uh, in, in, in a reduced prices to, to get uh, the, their own profits. They created an office uh, to mock the vice president's uh, finances uh, auditions. So this witness informs that uh, Luis Suarez gets got a fortune of billion of billion billions of dollars. So uh, the objective I explained it before. These witnesses, you can see that they. Uh, so the, the, it was uh, an illegal. Uh, assignation, uh, so uh, sales under the value of, of the market, charges of commissions in all the process to guarantee uh, access to contracts, robbery of public funds. So the goal and target of this uh, was, as I said, to destroy the national economy, to uh, inflate our currency, and so they didn't achieve that. But obviously, this subject has some accomplices. I want to highlight these accomplices. 
The Case of Samar López, uh, an entrepreneur. So on the screen, we are going to see his, his face, his criminal face. In the case of Samara López, this uh, individual acted through a digital bank, which was his back. He was the financial operator who facilitated cash, a digital account, and cryptocurrencies to sustain the whole operation of these entrepreneurs. So this has nothing to do with the facade uh, previously uh, told. So uh, through people he trusted, Alzheimer, Alzheimer had these people uh, beside. So in this case, this individual was uh, was a, was part of a, a, a structure with complicity alongside the, the, the deputy minister Joana Joana Morin. So leveraging leveraging the their posts, they um, did all these these uh, crimes causing uh, a heritage uh, heritage damage that's why in this uh, financial uh, speculation made by these these uh, defendants the public ministry in the coming hours, they will uh, trial, they will charge with uh, the crimes of treason to homeland uh, to um, legitimation of capitals, among other uh, crimes among other charges. So a plurality of an array of crimes which will uh, determine a sentence for all these uh, criminals which who they uh, misused their posts, the, the confidence the state gave them to so in this economic conspiracy, they they were searching to destroy for destroying the the domestic economy. So uh, Venezuela would would have a, a, an escalation of chaos because of their plans. But it didn't happen. So in this uh, period, 2023-2024, they were willing to uh, to um, accomplish this uh, this evil plan. But they are arrested. They they will be charged by the public ministry for treason for homeland and uh, appropriate legitimation of capitals and associate well and among other serious crimes we have complied with the people of Venezuela we believe in justice justice and ethics that uh, always be arriving so I, we have a question from a foreign 
sí, muy uh, tardes, journalist. Well, good afternoon, Luis Guillermo García from Telesur. Bueno, feliz día a todos. Sí, good morning to all. Sur. No soy corresponsal de extranjero. Um, I'm a Venezuelan, a, journal, a Venezuelan journalist, uh, attorney general. Why now? Why uh, these crimes are being unfolded now? So the, the heavy, the heavy. Um, uh, heavy uh, protagonists are the, the U.S. and I have uh, demonstrated so in other actions. Let's talk about so, uh, two emblematic uh, cases, the case of uh, Carlos Miss two years of being missing. Do you believe that the public ministry didn't uh, do nothing, didn't uh, do anything uh, during these years? We have been doing uh, several things. We have uh, reached after this uh, stream so the wife, Mai Kumari, the, the wife of Carlos Lanz, was the, the main played an active role in this, uh, in this case. We, we always suspected on her and so the media let us uh, let us to uh, something else and after achieving the cooperation of, of that person we have all the the plot in which uh, the main culprit was uh, Clem Castell Castellano, who rat, rat, rat on Tito and uh, the whole the whole gang, which is already uh, convicted. So it is. It was obviously a, a, a complex case, but we managed to close it. And uh, the another case, the, the public ministry of that time, this was a, an homicide. Uh, uh, it was a murder. En el año 2015. Afterwards, the attorney general office uh, wanted to, to open the case. No, para nosotros, uh, we had coped with some hicimos, obstacles. Por los testimonios de los familiares, particularmente el papá but hermana, for the no. Eso no podía relatives testimonies we we, después, we said no well eight years passed absolutos, by uh, we managed to open the case again with all the evidence with all forensic evidence the posteriormente uh, studies of of the la lectura al detalle the study of the um, of the sin crime and all significant elements the corpse of Cancelvero had uh, two steps on the left uh, body so how come he would be a suicide uh, he was murdered. So, uh, 
during the months of November, December in 2023, we managed the to, we managed to arrest Guillermo. So, in this case, in this particular case, there, there, uh, there have been just a year. Uh, there have been a, a year just passed by. So, so we we manage the cooperation of, of witnesses that uh, let us uh, clarify the crimes. So the responsibility uh, of uh, Jamiel, of Lopez and of this brutal criminal uh, action. So in this way, I really valued your question because it clarifies the, the case. So justice is always working 24-7. The, there are no holidays, no days uh, taken off. So we always act within the, the principle of cooperation. The head of state, President Nicolás Maduro, gave us an unconditional support of going forward to search the convincing elements. So we, what we have shown is uh, really decisive. So let me show you these uh, these pictures of the arrests. Arrests. Uh, this is real. So we can see through the diversity of the detention, the diversity of pictures of the detention of this main criminal. Well, thank you very much for your attention, for your kindness. And we hope that these breaking news uh, so we will be showing you all the, the breaking news in a democratic and impartial way. Thank you very much. Those were the statements of Venezuela Attorney General Tara William Saab providing details on how the ongoing fight against corruption in the oil sector especially advances. Saab announced the detention of former oil minister Tarek al Sami and two other people involved in money laundering. The Attorney General provided during his statements evidence of the guilt of those arrested. Saab denounced the use of digital currency to attack the nation's economy. The Attorney General also provided proof of